Hey, Jim Parker with iDry here. We're going to talk about closing the door on your kiln, which doesn't sound like a very complicated thing to do, but there are a couple of uh, tips that we'd like to pass along to you. So when we're, we've got our kiln loaded with wood and we're going to close the door, we just swing the door closed. It's not going to come all the way closed because it starts to compress the, the seal on the other side. We get it as close as we can and then loosen up the hand wheel just enough until we can swing it over the latch. Then once we get the first one on, it's really simple to tight, uh, tighten it down and then we can swing the, the next hand wheel and tighten that down. Now we have some uh, some warnings on the door of the kiln to not over tighten the hand wheel. Um, the, once you've made the door seal, in other words, it is sealing vacuum tight, there's no need to tighten the hand wheels down anymore. In fact, once we've drawn a vacuum on the, on the chamber, the, the hand wheels are gonna get pretty loose because the door seal compresses just by the force of the vacuum pulling this door in with a tremendous amount of force. Uh, once those hand wheels loosen up, the door is already sealed. There's no reason to go back and tighten them. In fact, if you go back and tighten them uh, when it's under vacuum, when the vacuum is then released and that pressure comes off and the door wants to go towards the hand wheel, it can put an awful lot of stress on your hand wheel and latch assembly, which is just unnecessary. That'll make it a lot harder to get them loose when you go to unload your kiln. Um, at the end. Mm -hmm.